Yo guys, welcome back to the channel and today we have got a little something different for you guys. I am petrified about how this is going to end out, but I'm sure you guys are going to enjoy this a lot more that I am going to enjoy reading what you guys have got to say. But as you can tell from the title, today we are reacting to old photos of me. This goes back years and years and years. Never before seen photos. Oh God, boys, this is going to be horrible. Honestly, I don't know what to expect from this. But if you guys are pumped for the video, smash that like button. There is no order to these videos, um, pictures I should say. So if you want to see ones from younger, ones from newer, then they are completely mixed up throughout the whole video. So make sure you guys do stick around for the whole duration to see some of the more embarrassing things I'm about to share here for you guys. But also, if you guys are new, make sure you guys hit that sub button. We are trying to get to 2.2k before the end of May. I believe we're 27 away with just around two and a half weeks left. So can we get there? That is all down to you guys. But no matter what, I cannot thank you guys enough. You guys have been killing it as of yet. And without further ado, let's get into the first pick. Oh, God, give me strength. <laughs> so, first up, where better place to start than all the way back to the beginning? A little baby Josh, little baby devil Joshua. Let's show him. I don't even know where to start with that. I'm pretty sure I'm sitting in a plant pot here. Like a massive plant pot. It's like some photo shoot thing. Mm, I've got such a round head, you know. <laughs> Little baby devil Joshua, yeah? The little buttoned up shirt. Oh, bro. That. That is something. He's got a bowling ball as a head, man. That's, that's that. Oh, no. I'm regretting doing this already. Why am I showing these? Why am I showing these? Next up, we're going to go to a little bit of, I guess, a wartime photo, let's say. Little baby Joshua. We're dressed up in his little army get up. I'm pretty sure Um, this is from an armed... No. An armed forces, like, fireman, the army... Um, policeman, ambulance, like, convention day, I guess, from way, way back. And one of the stalls was army. We whipped on the bag, we whipped on the gear, we got ourselves a little gun, got the little helmet as well, um, living my best life. Um, but yeah, that's, that's a memory and a half, isn't it? That is a throwback, Jesus Christ. That's mad when you deep it. A lot of you, well, I say a lot of you, power of us. If you guys don't know Power Bros, you're probably lucky. Um, he seems to call me a Smurf, right? And this is not going to help my cause, but... I did used to have blue hair, boys. That was me. Okay, next up. This is not just a picture of me. This time... This is a picture of me and Katie. This picture here was taken four years and a couple months ago. The first ever picture that me and Katie took together along of four, four years ago. What is going on with my face? I look so strange. <laughs> I don't know what it is. She, of course, looks as gorgeous as ever, but I just don't know what's on with my face. That trim. Ay, yeah, yeah. God give me strength, boys. <laughs> Uh, here's a memory. Next up, we go back to our leavers day. Back in uh, 20... When did I leave? 16, I want to say? Can't have been six years already. Jesus Christ, I feel old. I was 16 years old at the time of this picture. Me right in the middle there with my weird blonde there. A couple people you guys know in this picture. you got Don Rob in there. you got Brad in there as well. Um, that's mad, that's mad. See, that's a memory. Jesus Christ. That's actually wicked, you know. I love look. See, some of these photos are going to be embarrassing to show you, but some of them just bring back mint, mint memories from my school days. That was six years ago, man. Jesus Christ, that's insane. Well, hey, we get the animals involved this time. This right here is an old picture of me and my old cat, Merlin. I am such a geek and such a nerd. And when I was growing up, I used to watch this wizardy type TV show. Um, on CBBC, I believe, called Merlin. It's about wizards, dragons and all that. And I named this cat Merlin after Merlin. So um, that's the backstory there. Obviously, back with my blonde hair. That's even more blonde this time. Right, so uh, back in school, there was some people, right? Some of my mates used to call me Kit Kat or hairbrush. Or not hairbrush, like paintbrush. And for those of you who don't get it, I am going to put you the picture here. This is me with my little, like, two-toned hair, I guess. And 
paintbrush. I'll leave the picture there. I'll sit in the middle. That's me. We've got paintbrush here. And we got Kit Kat up there. <laughs> it's actually bullying. It's actually bullying. I don't think it looks that bad. The face is a little bit weird. That baby face. I don't like it. That's not that bad, right? Oh, no. <laughs> I've had a lot of different hair colours, you know. It's actually worrying. So, next up, I am about to ruin myself here. I have said before I've had a couple of different hair colours. This picture right here is the first ever time I ever added anything to my hair. Before the age of, like, 13, I could never grow hair. I could not grow hair at all. I was bald half my life, Gen genuinely. I could not grow hair. I dyed my hair, this, like, blondie highlights type of thing, once. Ever since then, my hair grows and grows and grows and grows and grows. I don't know what it is. If you guys are suffering with not growing hair, dye it. <laughs> Honestly, I could never grow hair. And you're going to see more pictures like that. But ever since I dyed it, my hair just kept growing. And that was where it all started. Oh, that forehead though, man. You could... <laughs> Gosh, there we go. We got the glasses on, the shades. We are looking proper swaggy with those. Again, I couldn't grow hair, boys. I couldn't grow hair. It's such a weird smile. It's like that uncle that people tell you to stay away from. That's me in that picture right there. What do you reckon? Should I bring the glasses back, boys? <laughs> this picture I'm about to show you guys could be the most hated picture I have in all of history of myself. It's a comb over with no hair and the forehead. Oh my god. You know what? The fact that I'm showing this picture on YouTube right now is going to come back to haunt me. I know it is, but... Oh my god. That is disgusting. <laughs> there are so many things wrong with that. you got the polo shirt over the top of a jumper. you got that... Oh. <laughs> Comes in two parts. The first part is this picture here. Me and my two younger brothers, Sussy and Harry, of course. Um, are running over fountains because we are proper hard. Um, this was must have been, I was like, what? Judging by the sizes of them, maybe 11 max, I reckon. And this is the outcome. I don't know what's worse. The trim, the fact that I look stoned, the robot attack top, or the fact that I look like I pissed myself. <laughs> what is that, man? You know who I look like? What's his name? The one that's going out with Kim Kardashian right now. I can't remember his name. That's who I look like in that picture. That, both of them, that is wrong. This one here is an old picture of me and my mum. I'm about to set up an RKO out of nowhere on her. Um, again, I believe this was roughly the same time as the wedding. It wasn't the wedding, obviously, but I must have been about the 7, 8, 9 type range. Like I said, what is my face doing? That, that's not a smile, is it? <laughs> no. <laughs> I don't even know what's happening in this picture. I believe... This is me and, is that Harry or Jack? I think that's Harry. I don't know what's going on there. I don't even, I don't even know what's going on. I, 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 I've got no words for that one. I don't even know what to say to this one. I'd be like Tarzan. <laughs> that's, that's, that's. I can't tell if I'm angry, excited, or scared right now. But that is Tarzan. I am Tarzan. I am sure, growing up, I went through some questionable space, phase. This picture here will prove that. Now, there's nothing wrong with that. Um, but I do look very... eccentric in this picture. Now, with this one, I don't know what's worse, the drip I've got on right now, all those moves, like some Egyptian, walk like an Egyptian, I, I, I've, I've not grown up at all. Um, that's just something special, isn't it? That drip, though. That drip. <laughs> I'm dressed up as a Cyberman, or like I said earlier, I am a massive geek nerd. Right there is a massive, like, Marvel shelf thing with loads of blue raisins, all that type of stuff. Maybe I should do a video on that, maybe, maybe. But, um... This is me as Cyberman and Harry as Noddy back in the day. Must have been 9, 10, I reckon, here. Back in one of our old houses. That's, that's, see, that's quite cool to look back on, isn't it? Probably wouldn't wear that now, but. <laughs> My little sister. Um, I used to be really, really into WWE. I still, 
watch it every now and then. Like, I won't lie. Um, AEW, that type of stuff. But not as much as I used to. And when my sister was born, there was this guy called Zack Ryder. And his thing was like, woo, woo, woo. And um, pretty much, I thought it would be a good idea to dress my little sister up as Zack Ryder. And this is what you, uh, that's what you get. <laughs> Enough said. Here's me once again with the really stalkerish smile, um, the massive forehead and the dead trim. But I've got my medals. They're probably somewhere in here somewhere, yeah. I should probably look through them. I have got medals in sprinting, uh, relay, curling. I've actually got quite a few in curling, like the ice thing where you have the broom and you throw the thing along the ice. Uh, but mostly athletics like sprinting and relay. Like, I don't want to blow my trumpet. I'm quite a modest person, but I've got some pace in these legs, lads. You get me? <laughs> Speaking of uh, athletics, um, I need to blur out the school badge, obviously, because this is back in the day. But um, this is me, I believe, in induction day for year seven when I first started secondary school and this was in 2012 so it was just finished the London Olympics um, the Paralympics had just finished and I believe this lovely woman there was one of the Paralympians that represented us I can't remember what she did but I can't even remember her name if anyone knows this amazing woman's name please let me know in the comments she was a Paralympian for England in 2012 if anyone can get her name that'd be amazing or if i put her name here and i'll let you know if she won anything but that is my claim to fame i met her <laughs> but, um yeah that's quite cool to look back on i don't have to say anything about this i've got nothing to say about this this is the one this is the picture that's getting done this is going to ruin me this picture is about to ruin me Over. Look at the form on those pull-ups, yeah, look how straight my like legs are, it just looks really weird, it just looks so strange, look at the form on that lads, <laughs> he's making all the noise, um, as some of you guys know, uh, me personally I am not from Milton Keynes but we have got a lot of family roots in Milton Keynes and this was when we went back to visit, that drip, that trim, pretty sure I'm missing teeth in that. <laughs> I've got so many questions about that. I look like something out of the Beatles. Oh my god, I needed a well needed haircut then. <laughs> the hair's too bad. I don't know what is that? Where are your arms? They're sticks. Like, I know I'm not exactly massive, but where are they? I thought I was so sick. The unbuttoned polo, like, what is that? What is that? What is that? I look like a stick man. Probably still do, but. <laughs> there we go. This is a cool photo. This is actually a really, really wicked photo. Um, this was only a few weeks ago, actually. Um, I think this is probably one of the most recent photos I've got of myself. Um, I managed to take my younger brother to his first ever game inside Old Trafford. There was no, like, anyone else. It was just me and him, which I thought was so, so sick. Like, that is an experience they'll never forget. Like, that is history. Now, he can hopefully, if and when he has children, if, um, he can take his kids to see Old Tra Man United. If it is Old Trafford, they choose to support. But, um, that's just sick. I feel like it's, like, passing something on it. Like, my dad took me... I've taken um, my brother. I feel like that's just quite cool. But um, I think that's quite a nice little moment there. And there's a question for you boys. The first ever time you guys went to a live football match, it could be Old Trafford, it could be any other ground. Who did you go to and what was the game? Mine obviously was with my dad. Here's another one. This is from this season as well. Um, this was when Cristiano Ronaldo made his return against Newcastle. We went to the game, of course. That was my mum's first ever Old Trafford game. Me and my dad took her as like a birthday present. Um, but um, they did like these things outside with the treble trophies and us being the biggest tourist you'll ever need. You need to get a picture, don't you? So that was a nice little day out for her. So yeah, that was sick. And it was a quality result as well. 4-1, I believe it was. Ronaldo getting two on his return. Uh, Bruno and Jesse Lingard as well. So that was quite a cool memory to have. Oh, this is just a bit nasty, isn't it? Boys, anyone who says football doesn't do anything to you, this is me playing football. Like I said, um, I am quite 
I got some pace in these legs, right? These little stick legs, yeah, they got some pace in them, lads. But um, obviously that means it's kind of hard to stop sometimes. So if I'm running through on goal and um, someone gives you a little nudge, not a foul, but obviously I'm going at some decent speed, you know, um, I'm knocked off balance. I go skidding along some AstroTurf and this is what happens. But um, yeah. Jeez, this must have been from, not last year, the year before, 2020 Christmas, I want to say. Got up my little Christmas jacket. I believe that jacket lights up as well. What are those socks as well? Jesus Christ. That's quite cool, to be fair. I don't reckon that's embarrassing. That's quite cool. I like that. <laughs> this time, me and my dad at Old Trafford. I, when was this? This was before lockdown. I believe this was Club Bruges in the Europa League. I want to say... 5-0, I think Scott McTominay scored two, Bruno got a penalty, Agarlo scored, who was the other? Was it Fred? Was it Fred? It might have been Fred. It was either Fred or like Lingard or something like that, but that's quite a cool picture. Um, yeah, decent. Using, um, some of you don't know, I used to work on like a timber yard i guess as a forklift driver i was kind of like a goods in manager i guess if you guys don't know what goods in is pretty much i was the forklift driver i guess i was kind of in charge of it because i was on goods in so when a massive lorry comes in with loads of like timber wood um plaster boards and stuff like that that goes inside the wall um i would have to unload it make sure it's all checked off and checked on there load st other stuff back onto it i would that like fire engine and stuff that you put into walls to stop um fires I was, pr like, it was decent, um, and of course, that's my little hive is thinking I'm absolutely sick, but, um, yeah, that's something, Jesus Christ, that must have been 20, 18, four years ago, that picture must have been, I reckon, I would have been, what would I have been four years ago, 17 years old, about a year after I left school. Mm. I've noticed a lot of this, um, I guess, growing up, I was quite a poser. Um, this must have been, I've got the blonde there here, I've kind of got a bit of bum fluff growing here, I reckon I must have been 16, 17, that's what I'm going to guess, 16, 17, mm, I've got the fringy bit, so I, yeah, I was a proper poser growing up after school, I can't lie, but um, yeah, that, I guess, is the last pitch we have here, um, that's something, boys. Be nice to me, lads. I know there are some proper questionable ones in there, but um, let me know your thoughts on this video, because if you want, we can kind of do similar stuff to this, because I've got some other stuff that I think could be quite cool to go and check out. But um, let me know if you guys like this type of idea, because we could go back and react to other stuff that isn't just photos. We could go old videos, like not on this channel, but like old old school videos do you know what i mean but um, yeah that could be quite cool but either way let me know your thoughts on this and let me know what was the best and worst picture you saw in today's video please 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 go easy on me boys i know these pictures are never leaving me now i've put them out there it's done but this is a big step like this is a big step but either way boys a massive massive thank you smash the like and enjoy subscribe if you're new and i'll catch you later boys take care and peace